tint because the color on our eight I got is sapphire blue. Now let's go ahead and open it up right away. It's a very slim box, has uh, some packaging on it. And right away, you can definitely tell that uh, the sides are metal and then the back is glass as well. So obviously very reflective, very shiny glass. Reminds me of maybe the uh, Galaxy S7 or the Idol 4S. Let's go ahead and power it on. I'm gonna press and hold that power button because obviously that battery is integrated. There we go. I'm gonna set it to the side while it boots up, talk about what else is in the box. So right now, just a sticker with Honor. Thanks for attending the Honor 8 event. As you can see, um, they passed out these devices at the event as review units. So review coming very soon. So let's check out what else is in the box. You have some slots right here for other boxes. I'm assuming little booklets. All right, so a SIM ejector tool, a warranty card, and then you'll see one-time screen protection program. So you can register for a free three months of screen protection as well. Nice little addition there from Honor. Um, and then finally, this last box is what I'm assuming is the charging cable. So pop this guy out. Oops, I think I opened the wrong end of this box. I did, so here we go. And here we go. So we got the AC adapter power adapter, and then you have your USB Type-C charging cable. And, of course, most new devices should have USB Type-C right now, unless it's a super budget device. That's about the only exception I can give at this moment for not having USB Type-C. But here we are, our device is powered on, and that's everything that's in the box. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop on this case really quick so you can get a good idea of kind of how it fits. Just fits over those corners, um, and then adds a little bit of texture to that power, uh, sorry, to that fingerprint scanner. Uh, overall, cutout seem fine. Again, like I said, it's just gonna protect those corners and then that's really about it. So let's go ahead and take a couple, uh, a little closer look at this device. So here's a closer look at the bottom. I do really like that blue. Um, it looks very slick. Uh, down at the bottom, you got that speaker. You have USB Type-C slot, your headphone jack as well. Moving it along to the side, you do have your SIM card slot and micro SD card slot as well. Up the top, you do have an IR Blaster, awesome honor, thank you. IR Blaster is added, fantastic. And you have a microphone as well. Sorry, I just really enjoy IR Blasters and nobody includes them anymore. Hopefully I'm not alone with that one. You have volume rockers and then you have a power button which has a little bit of texture to it as well. Uh, moving along and that's really about it. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the back which is where that dual camera is. You have a flash as well. And then you have a fingerprint scanner which actually pushes in do you hear that? It's a button. So I'll talk about that in just a second when we set up that fingerprint scanner. And then down at the bottom just says Honor. Flipping it on over, you have Honor, front-facing camera, and earpiece. So I'm going to go ahead and skip through the setup, only talk about anything. If it's out of the ordinary, show you the fingerprint scanner setup as well. All right, so here we go. We're going to unroll our fingerprint. I do want to say it's a very a nice feeling device in your hand. Very premium feeling. Also 5.2 inch 1080p display. So a little bit of a smaller size in terms of in comparison to other devices that have been coming out. So let's go ahead and enroll our fingerprint. So fingerprint edges. In the past, Honor devices have had great fingerprint scanners very quick. So I'm assuming this one's going to be great as well. That was quick. Configuration successful. Let's hit begin. We're at home. So Huawei's home launcher which is running uh, Android of course. Android 6.0 Marshmallow over their EMUI skin. I'm going to go ahead and enable, and you'll see their home launcher does not have an app drawer or anything like that, so that is just a part of their ecosystem, I guess, is with it not having an app drawer, but there are ways you can customize Android so you can install a custom launcher if you'd like to. Jumping into settings real quick, I'm going to go to About Phone, and here we go, Android 6.0, EMUI 4.1 as well. It has 4 gigs of RAM, high silicone uh, Kirin 950 processor as well, gives you all that information right here internal storage another big one 32 gigs total 22.6 gigs free right out of the box so uh, that's not actually signing into anything resolution as i said 1080p display which looks very good as well um i do like huawei's uh, 1080p displays just like my man snazzy labs as well uh, let's go ahead and test out that fingerprint scanner though i'm gonna lock the device i'm gonna press it now and unlocks it right away let's go ahead and turn the display on ready now there we go. So very quick, off, set my set my finger on, and there we go. So welcome to Smart Key. I accidentally pressed it in. So let's take a look at what we can do with the button that is the fingerprint scanner. So swiping through, pressing and holding the Smart Key will launch Google. I'm cool with that. Um, let's go to settings. So the feature required the following permissions. 
fair. So pressing, you can customize it. So you can do voice recording, flashlight, screenshot, or you can have it open a specific app. So if you wanted to go ahead and open the dialer or your messaging app, uh, I'm pressing it. I'm going to try flashlight. Actually, I think double press should be flashlight just because you don't want to accidentally turn on your flashlight pretty often, which might actually end up happening. So for single press, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, actually. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play around with it and then go ahead and figure out what I'm going to do with uh, just press in the long term. For now, I'm going to hit none. So with that being said, let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to press and hold the key on the back and quickly go straight to Google. Now I'm going to go ahead and double tap it and instantly it turns that uh, flashlight and you can double press it to turn it off. So if I go one, two, on, one, two, off. Awesome. I really do like that. That's a very neat integration and feature into the fingerprint scanner. Now what I'm going to try and do is set a different finger that I haven't registered and it vibrates, lets you know it's not registered, but I'm going to press the button and it doesn't turn the display on. So that's something I was interested in trying out. Let's go ahead and with the uh, display off double tap and it does turn the flashlight on still. So you do have those features as well. Let's go ahead and pop open that camera for the first time. Swipe right to select the camera mode. Swipe left to bring the settings menu. Let's hit start. No, I don't want location services. So swipe left. You have a bunch of various modes, including a pro mode, HDR mode as well. So a lot of them there. And then swiping over to these settings uh, with your screen resolution, GPS tagging. I do like having a grid on there, actually. I don't know if you guys like having grids on your cameras, but let's snap a quick picture. Boom. Take another one. Boom. Boom. Okay, so with those dual cameras, one is uh, just a pretty standard camera, and then another one's a monochrome uh, camera. Very similar to that Huawei P9, which I do have a full review on if you're checking that phone out as well. But overall, shutter speed seems just fine. These pictures coming out are in great lighting scenarios, so they are coming out uh, very pretty crisp and pretty clear. Not too bad at all. It needs a lot more real-world performance testing, which I will talk about in my full review as usual. And then, of course, on the back, actually not too bad with the fingerprints. Um, really not collecting them nearly as much as the Galaxy S7 did. There are some, but really not too bad. Anyways, that's everything I want to talk about with the Honor 8. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Click that thumbs up if you did. Lots more to come.